Manchester United have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. Well, we're on the way. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Jordan Pickford. He's a great all-round goalkeeper, Peter. Uh, great at shot-stopping and dominant in his box. He also gets counter-attacks going with his accurate long passes. The opposition should be a little wary of committing too many men forward to attack because if it does break down, this guy can get them in trouble pretty quickly. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Played in deep. Bruno Fernandes, Casemiro, Juan Bissaka, has he found his man? Davis, forward it goes. Gray plays it forward. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. De Gea sends that a long way. And it's been taken straight back. Bruno Fernandes really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Davis. Plays it over to the other flank. Casemiro gets it away. Crunching tackle. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Gets it back. Now oh, they could break here. Plenty waiting in the middle. That intervention was very necessary. It's been a pretty frantic start. A lot of front foot pressing. Martial, Bruno Fernandes, Shaw goes up and over. Towering header, and another time! And that's been levered clear, Ericsson's delivery. Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Over to the left. And it's Rashford. And that's sprayed out wide. Time to deliver. Chance! Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel... And it's been given away. Davis. Plays it out to the wing. Has a look and plays... Great leap! Good delivery, but no joy. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Still goalless. And that has been cleared. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Oh, 
A really good feat. And the finish! Gray. Well, that's where he wants it. Casemiro gets into the right position to intercept. Played out to the right. One Bissaka. He's got the ball glued to his feet. And that's a throw. One Bissaka. Ericsson. And here's Martial. Out to the right. A heavy challenge. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Rafael Varan. Precious little by way of goal mouth action yet. Has he found his man? Now it's Martial. Martial spreads it towards the left. Trout calling for him to shoot. It is a corner. Ericsson plays it short. Tries to get some whip on it. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Throw in. Uh, it's a poor throw that picked off with relative ease. And it's played forward. Yeah, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Rafael Varan. Casemiro. Rafael Varan. Hoists it forward. A real chance to break. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? It's a clearance, but not much of one. Alan! A really close shave and the last action of the first half. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, the goal attempts are coming thick and fast, but so far there's nothing to show for it. I think the manager will be pretty happy with his team's performance. He just needs a little more craft and guile. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Manchester United can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Must he tries a shot! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. Sure. One Bissaka. Baran goes looking. Rashford desperately wants to get on the end of this. Shaw has come steaming up from the back for this. Ericsson goes short. Rash. Oh, shooting chance! <laughs> Shot! 
strong punch. Davis tries to get it forward quickly. Casemiro. And here's Martial. Out to the left it goes. Up he gets! Goal! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Manchester United take the lead. Oh, half time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. <laughs> Rafael Varan. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, the message they're sending out now is pretty loud and clear. Let's grab a second goal and, and give ourselves an element of comfort. And it's played forward. Tries to get it clear. And here's Gray. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. Gorgeous control there. The referee's awarded a free kick. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Good stuff. This is better. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Just has to be done. Tarkovsky tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Rashford. That's been drilled forward. Time and again, they are repelled. Ball is over the line. But there's going to be another change here. Swung in towards the middle. Gay, and here's Gray, Gray, shapes to shoot! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Gray sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Everton are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Forward it goes. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Bruno Fernandes
Drives it towards the front. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Hoists it forward. Ericsson. 1-0 as we head towards the end. And it's played forward. Manchester United just have to run down the clock. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Everton have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Bruno Fernandes. Nicely measured. And the shot! He scored! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. That was a given. It always was. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Manchester United are making a change now. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Well, some fans are already on their way out, so... That, to me, says everything, Peter. Board shows there will be three extra minutes. Lovely feet. Calvert-Lewin looks to get on the end of this. And time is up. Now the manager heads down the tunnel, swathed in satisfaction. His team have carried out his instructions to the word and they have got their win. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That eases the pressure on the strikers who can afford to be patient and it's all paid off.